Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I have some new YSL lip products I wanted to do a mini review on, do some swatches. So I have four of the new Love Shine lipsticks which are kind of like a high shine glossy balm. And then I also have one of the Candy Glaze. I don't think the Candy Glaze is new, um, but they did send this with the other four. So I thought I would swatch this as well and we can do a bit of side by side. So I'm going to be doing some swatches. I will apply them on my lips as well. So I really hope that you enjoy. If you do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. My name is Millie and I do beauty videos and the occasional lifestyle and routine video as well. So if that sounds good, then do make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with the Candy Glaze lipstick. So on the YSL website, it does say that these are new. I'm not sure if it's just new shades or if the formula itself is new. Why do I have a lot of lip products? So <laughs> it could just be that this is a reformulation or they've released some new shades. Anyway, I have the shade number 15. The packaging is so beautiful. There is just something about a luxury lipstick, especially from YSL. So these retail for £36. And the shade that I have is number 15, Showcasing Nude. So with the Candy Glaze, it's one of those kind of click up so it's kind of one that you click up I don't know if you can hear the clicks <laughs> and then the product inside is a really thick very nourishing balm so this is described as a lip gloss in a stick so it's very glossy and um, it also says it has the care of a lip balm as well a lip plumper filler looking lips um very juicy jelly like texture melts over your lips without stickiness i definitely do feel like it is very thick and it really does leave like an occlusive layer over the lips so as you can see when i swatch it it's very very thick Let me just adjust that ever so slightly so yeah as you can see it's very thick and it does kind of leave a noticeable layer on the skin so if you like on the skin on the lips so if you like a barely there lip product that just feels very very nothing on the lips that might give you a little bit of hydration but you can't really feel it um i don't think this is going to be for you <laughs> let's move forward again oh my gosh we're literally back and forth here very very moisturizing Oh, they also have the most amazing mango scent and flavour to them. I think they have mango butter within the formula, which makes them very hydrating. Definitely very thick, definitely very moisturising. So it says that the formula is infused with pomegranate extract. So not mango. I feel like there's mango butter in here though. Um, hyaluronic acid and vitamin E as well. So very moisturising, very nourishing. The hyaluronic acid will help to um plump as well i should have bought my foundation brush or something to kind of tidy up my face but it's fine okay so moving on to the four love shine lipsticks now i do believe these are new packaging again has this gorgeous kind of gold it's gorgeous gold outer packaging and then the bullet itself has the lovely ysl detail in the middle oh my gosh <laughs> and then this is more of a traditional lip balm so you can obviously twist it up and down unlike the candy glaze really nice silver bullet as well just lovely so the love shine lipsticks are described as a high shine lipstick that quenches your thirsty lips with up to 24 hours of hydration so it contains fig extract and six nourishing oils for visibly softer and healthier looking lips so i feel like this is going to be thinner than the candy glaze the annoying thing is with the YSL packaging is you only have the number of the shade on the actual bullet, um, but on the outer packaging it does have the name on the top. So I'm gonna try and not get myself all confused <laughs> as we move through these. So, so like I say, I have four of the shades, um, and these retail for thirty-six pound as well. Um, there's quite a, there's loads of shades available. I feel like with YSL they always have such an amazing shade range there are so many to choose from i haven't actually tried these on yet i did wear the candy glaze yesterday 
but I've not tried on the Love Glaze. And again, I have my NARS balm here. This is the Afterglow Balm in Fastlane. This is one of my favorite tinted lip balms and I wanted to compare the formula of this to the new Love Shine because yeah, this is one of my favorites. So the first shade that I have here is 122 Caramel Swirl, really nice. So I'm gonna swatch them on my arm first and then I will do some applications on the lips. So this is a Caramel Swirl, it's almost like a, a rusty, a very, it's almost like a rusty, kind of neutrally red that's leaning a tiny bit brown. A very interesting shade. I don't know if caramel would be the um, word I would use to describe it, but very interesting. Um, the next one that we have here is number 80, Glowing Lava. This one looks very similar in the component. See, so this is 80 Glowing Lava. Definitely more pink, but still really rich. Very saturated colors, actually. Um, I wasn't expecting the payoff to be quite this good. And then we have at number 44, Nude. Oh gosh, this is where my French um, lessons will start to pay off. Lava Lyrie? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, number 44, let's just go with that. So this one is definitely more nude. This one is definitely more on the nude side, quite movie as well. Oh yeah, it's definitely more sheer and very pink compared to <laughs> the other four. Really nice everyday shade though, but very pink. Um, quite cool toned, it always has like a lilac um, shift to it. Very pretty, a good one for every day. And then the last one that I have is number 150, Nude Lingerie. This one has a bit of shimmer in it almost. I wonder if the camera will be able to pick that up. This looks like a nice, almost like corally pink. So let's watch this one over here. Yeah, so that's almost a bit more corally. Really pretty. I actually prefer nude lingerie over um, the other nude one, which I can't pronounce. So really pretty, definitely more peachy, more warm. If you like something that's a bit more cool toned and has that kind of blue shift, I think um, number 44 will be a bit more up your street. Really pretty shades. I'm actually very impressed with the color payoff as well. I wasn't expecting them to be so pigmented. I thought they would be a lot more sheer. So I'm gonna swatch my NARS in Fast Lane. I think this actually is gonna be really similar to shade 44 here. So this is one of my favorite arms. Yeah, so it's actually really similar. Just a bit more sheer. These definitely don't have as much color pale. But again, it has that almost purple-ness to it. Very movie, which I, I really like on my skin tone as well. So that's Fast Lane by NARS. I would say it's definitely more of a sheer balm, whereas the Love Shines are more shiny, a bit more glossy. So that's all of them swatched. These deeper shades are actually really, I'm really impressed with the pigmentation levels on those. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to like wipe that off properly in a minute. So let's apply them on the lips. I'm gonna start with the nude ones first because they're gonna be easier to take on and off. So I'm going to start with the shade that's closest to NARS Fast Lane, and that was number 44, Nude Lava Lure. I think this is definitely going to be one of my new, oh wow, really soft, like you can barely feel it as it glides over the lips. You can smell the mango butter as well, it's so nice, very very summery. A bit lighter than I typically go for. I don't actually love this shade on me. It's a bit of that very pale, like Barbie pink shade. I don't know, not my favorite, but the feel is incredible. It's so nourishing, so hydrating, and a really good one to just throw in your handbag because the pigment isn't so strong, which is a tiny bit light for me, I think. So again, that was number 44. So I think this one might be my favorite. So this is number 150 nude lingerie see this was the slightly more coral shade and as i said this does have a tiny bit of shimmer as you look at it in the bullet but i don't feel like that translates at all like i can't see any uh, shimmer on the back of my hand so perhaps it'll just be a bit more glossy on the lips so smooth they definitely have that oily feel which is quite unique in a 
bullet um, a bullet lip balm because for me I would almost expect it to be a bit more waxy whereas these are definitely quite oily they definitely have a slip to them yeah the shade is definitely more my cup of tea you can just see even on the packaging how um like how emollient the formula is because it's kind of spilling out over the sides there if you can see so that just goes to show how oily and glidey glidey i don't know if that's really a word is it but i mean they feel incredible on the lips like so thin and hydrating if you prefer a thinner feel on the lips definitely go for the love shine over the candy glaze the candy glaze is more of a almost like an inclusive layer <laughs> over the lips so this is number 150 nude lingerie i think this is definitely going to be an everyday staple for me i just love the more um bright kind of saturated coral shade i think it's a lot more flattering on my particular skin tone and just really brightens my complexion so let's go for the two slightly dark ones now and these ones definitely had more of a lipstick level amount of pigment to them so i'm going to start with 80 glowing lava so this is almost like a bright poppy on my hand it's a bit more orangey i feel it because the formula is so slippy you have to be a bit careful with these brighter shades i don't have like the fullest even lips in the world and i'm obviously not using a lip liner so that's glowing lava number 80. i don't know if i love these brighter shades because they are such a slippy formula that that is very hard to apply the shade kind of washes me out a little bit as well <laughs> i think if you were if it was like middle of summer you had a nice tan going really bronzed skin i think this would be a really lovely color to go for but uh, i don't know i get a bit wary of very bright lip colors in this type of format because they do tend to slip and slide a little bit more obviously it's not transfer proof you know very not transfer proof but I'm not expecting that anyway from this type of formula i think i've just botted it down a little bit i really like the almost stain effect that it's given but you still have a lot of dehydration there so yeah i think actually blotted down a bit i can get on board with this type of shade but just applying it straight from the bullet like that i don't know not my favorite way to <laughs> to wear a bright lip I think blotted down you still get the color you still get that hydration but it's less slippy so that's 80 glowing lava and the last one which i think is the most pigmented and definitely the deepest is the shade 122 caramel swirl so this almost looks like a neutral rusty brown i bet this is stunning in the autumn Oh, I actually really like that. Oh, I love that. I think I prefer this over glowing lava. I think because it is just a bit more neutral. Again, I think straight off the bat, the colour is a bit too intense for me. So again, I think it's blotted down ever so slightly. Mm, yeah, I really like that. Obviously, I've taken away quite a lot of the pigment, but that's definitely an everyday shade i can get on board with just a little bit less intense but you can still see that rusty quality coming through really like that that's an unexpected favor i think for me so those were all four shades applied i definitely love the shine that they give they feel very moisturizing you can definitely feel the oils coming through so if you don't like a super thin lip oil type feel on the lips then perhaps the candy glaze will be a better option for you because i think that one is that one is definitely more of a thick lip balm both formulas are super super nourishing obviously they are quite expensive i think if there is a shade that you really really like then it is definitely a nice product to have in your handbag and um, i also love the fact that ysl have come out with a tinted balm that isn't in a squeezy tube there's just something a lot more chic about a bullet like this and you still get that really nice lip balm feel much as i'm loving the squeezy tube trend and i do have some squeezy tube lip balms myself there's just something a little bit juvenile about them and i think that they are 
it's becoming very repetitive and overdone in the industry so i really like that ysl stuck to their beautiful bullet lip components and the formulas are really really excellent and again you can definitely feel the nourishing oils on the lips they feel very hydrating and a really lovely one for every day so i hope you enjoyed this very quick kind of lip swatch review video i've been seeing these ysl lips like everywhere on my instagram so i was excited to have a play around with them as well myself thank you again to ysl for gifting me these lovely lip balms this video is not sponsored i don't think they know i have a youtube channel so <laughs> yes but thank you very much to the brand for gifting me those lip balms and yeah, i hope that you enjoyed if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in my next one bye